Hi everybody. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and do a little update. Back when uh, I did the faux vellum uh, tutorial for making these vellum sheets that I made, and I'll give you a link to the faux vellum uh, tutorial. Anyways, Mags Lockley, and Mags, if I destroyed your name, I apologize. And I'll put a link to her channel. Uh, she has a fun channel. She asked me if I could do the faux vellum with napkins. And of course you can. Uh, I've got several sheets of it here to show you. Uh, it took a while to get them all made. But I thought that you would like to see some made with napkins. So this is the faux vellum. This is fun when it has this um, little bit of color through it. Anyways, it's the same basic vellum technique done with napkins. So I thought I'd show you real quick how to do it. Um, it, it gives you a sort of a plasticky sheet that you can use to make whole pages in your journals or uh, can use, isn't this a fun one? It's just the leftover sheet. Um, it, it just makes for fun, fun, fun texture. If it's just plain, this is just a plain sheet. But you can see it's very vellum-like. It's, it's basically plastic paper. And you can cut it up. You can do all kinds of things with it. So, I was going to make a sheet for you today, just real quick, show you what, it have, what you have to do. Um, it is not difficult. Um, you're going to take a napkin, and I'm sure all of you have done this before, but I'll do it again. You have to take the sheets apart. Excuse me, just a second, let me get that corner started. Now, this is an inexpensive dollar store napkin, so there's only two layers instead of three, but sometimes there are three layers. And you just pull these sheets apart. Until you have a single layer. And I'm not going to make bore you to tears with pulling apart napkins. But you want to do it gently and carefully until you get a single layer of the napkin. Now save these pieces because as you saw my vellum sheets stick together a little so by to store them I put a piece of this extra napkin paper in between. Plus it also makes great texture on your uh, art journal pages. So what we're going to do then is, and many of you know this, I work a lot on sheets of freezer paper. Freezer paper is my friend. It is plastic coated on one side, and therefore it, uh, it the the sticky peels right off of it. So I just have a sheet of freezer paper here, and I have paper clips on the corners. It, it's just that it wants to roll up. After a while, it'll quit rolling up. But for the moment, and then I have a single layer of napkin. And I'm going to take Mod Podge, and I use the matte kind because I happen to don't happen to like real shiny. And I have watered it down a little. Can you see? And let's see if I can give you. A, it's kind of watery. It, it runs off the brush. If you can see that. So now. With the tissue paper for the faux vellum, I found that if you started in the middle and worked out, it was best. But with the napkins, I find that it's better if you start at the top edge and just kind of work out this way. Now, one thing about the napkins, Mags, is that because of what they're made of, they will stretch and you will have more wrinkles. The tissue paper does not wrinkle quite so much and therefore you get a little bit better smoother vellum pretend vellum 
faux vellum. Isn't that word nice? Faux is, means just pretend, all right? So I'm going to pretend it's vellum. Now to write on this, you have to consider that Mod Podge or anything else that you use to do this with is, and you could use um, matte medium. Um, matte medium is just more expensive, and uh, frankly, I just I've gotten to where I use the Mod Podge, and it's fine. Um, oh, I just tore it. So don't talk and do this. You want to do it a little gentle. And the, the other thing is, is the more expensive napkin does not tear as easy as the cheap one. Okay. And you notice I've got some wrinkles in there. Now I will give you a link to the faux vellum um, uh, video. And somebody else has asked me, and I can't remember who it is right now, but yes, I will be trying to do a video of techniques and ways I use this stuff. Um, it's just, I had to get enough of it made so that I could play with it and show you some other ideas. I use it for whole sheets and a lot of times in my journal. Alright, so I don't know exactly where we were when this died. Um... The biggest thing is, is to treat it gently, and yes, you're going to have some wrinkles in it. So once you get the, a single coat of Mod Podge on your napkin, you're going to set it aside to dry. Now, do not try to pick it up off of this plus, off of the freezer paper. You want to leave it on the freezer paper and just set it aside. And that's another reason why I like the freezer paper because I can pick it up and move it. If I have to, I can slide it on the floor underneath the table and I've got more workspace. So we are just going to move this one out of the way. And I have this one all dry and finished for us. So what we're going to do, I'll put my hand right here. I'm going to slide my finger underneath the edge of it. You notice that you want to do it a little bit gently because it is stuck down. And I'm going to go up the side of it. Oh, I tore it just a little bit. There again, sometimes if you do things without talking out loud, then you don't have so much trouble. The napkins mags do tear just a little bit more than um, the tissue paper. They're not quite as strong. So then we're just going to undo it. Oh, sorry about that. That's my phone. And turn it over. Now, I'm not going to do this. It's, it's, you know, just boring to watch. But what you would do is then coat this with another layer of Mod Podge. I find that you need to do about three layers of Mod Podge for each sheet. Okay? Um, it just, it just not quite sturdy enough now now you depend upon what you're going to use it for it might be but remember that it's the extra layers of Mod Podge just add extra strength so what we've done is basically created plastic paper and I just love this one I don't know that the camera really picks it up on here but um, this is just Let's put this on top of one of these white sheets. And like I said, this the the sheets of napkin really help to uh, to keep them from sticking together. Isn't that pretty? And I just use this stuff for for pages. Uh, I'll I'll use it. I'll fold it and use it like a page in a journal. Um, now I have some other ideas, and I'm I'm going to try to get them made up. This one is just clear. But do have some fun with it. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Oh, this one. Let's take this out from under here so you can see it. 
That's just the shadow. Can you see that? How pretty that is? That is the second layer or the inside layer of this one. And there's just enough ink on it that it gives you this shadow print. It's very pretty as long as it's laid over white. Um, I started to tell you if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment and have fun. Make some faux paper and see what you can do with it. It's that's that's all point in everything I do. Is let's have fun with it. And thanks again for coming by.